as it is in heaven. That shows that God wants His kingdom on the earth. What is, what is a part of the kingdom of God? A part of the kingdom of God is not just the love of God, the character of God, the spirit of God, but also salvation, deliverance, and healing. It was all just a dream. Turn the light up, light up, light up, light up, light up. Because maybe this is a warning to God, from God to you. How do you know that you're not going to die today? How do you know that today is not your last day on earth? That a, a car it is waiting with your name on it, but you're living in sin, thinking that you have so much time. When we thank the Lord Jesus Christ that this same building is Vacant by prayer, by the friend declaring the power of Jesus Christ. It was all just a dream. Turn the light up, light up, light up, light up, light up. It was all just a dream. Turn the light up, light up, light up, light up, light up. It was all just a dream. Turn the light up, light up, light up, light up. Hey, you guys, how you doing today? It's Jason again. Uh, thank you for taking this time or whatnot with me. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Um, remember, you can always subscribe and uh, you can just check the link in the, in the description. And make sure to share this, you guys. Make sure to share it with your loved ones, with people who um, may not believe or whatnot. Um, so, you know, just want to put these videos out there as an alarm to be sound. But, um, but yeah, so, and it may, it may be hard to swallow. But it's the truth, <laughs> you know? So I'd rather us hear the truth than us just go around and believing believing the lies. And one and that's one of the topics that would uh, I wanted to talk about today, about what the Lord revealed to me, which was um, very concerning. Uh, I put up a lot of, this is the month of August, you guys. I put up other videos concerning um, 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 prophecies concerning what what what, has, what I've been seeing, what the Lord's been showing me. And I hope it's it, it, it blesses you and it causes you to believe and fear God more. Um, but what the Lord specifically showed me and dealt with me about, particularly in this uh, in this video, uh, uh, is is concerning leaders, pastors, and individuals who are um, living in um, just blatant sin. Um, here's what I saw: I saw a vision of a sword. Excuse me. A uh, huge sword. Uh, it had. It had. Um, uh, it was a two-edged sword, and it was going through the land of America, like that, just going through, going through, going through. And I saw it judging um, um, pastors, preachers, just individuals who who um, who. God moves in their lives, but they are living in a lifestyle of sin, blatant sin, and they know better. Now, um, I wanted to do a video on this because God gave me a warning, and He gave He He spoke to me about something that is very very troubling, and I wanted to put this video out there as a cry for people um, out there who are, you're watching this, you may be a pastor or whoever, uh, to turn from your ways. Because what the Lord revealed to me, and I want to be very careful how I said this, say this, um, there are some individuals that have, because that God has invested um, His gifts, all that in their lives, I mean, they, they have tremendous gifts, whether they prophesy, preach, or whatnot, but they have strayed away from the Lord. And not only strayed away, but they're all about money, they, they have active sin in their lives. They're sleeping with other women, other prostitutes. 
They're using drugs, all these type of things in the house of God, in the church, behind the pulpit. And they think no one doesn't see. But I'm here to tell you today, I'm a prophet, okay? I'm a prophet of the Lord, and I don't go around saying prophet this and prophet that. I don't, I, I'm not like that. But I tell you the truth. And I tell you the truth as God has shown me. If you're watching this today, this is a warning for you. Um, not for all of us, but for, 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 for all of us so you can fear. But for some of us, because it, it's a word of your, of your own destruction. God loves you and God cares for all of us and cares about you. But God does not play games. The Lord showed me that there are those out there that you're living this way and you, you, you're operating in churches and all this other stuff. And God literally, he showed me a lot of, he, he showed me individuals, preachers, that are going to start dying and dying early. And I saw even situations uh, where, 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 I mean, losing their lives in situations where they shouldn't be losing their lives. I also saw a situation where even some, um, in the midst of their preaching, you know, I just saw all this type of destruction coming. And he gave me a scripture out of the book of Ezekiel, where it's woe to the shepherds who lead God's people, but you, you, you're all about yourself. And, um, and the warning he wanted me to give was that to, for individuals to stop playing, to stop playing games because I, I saw the hand of God literally cutting individuals' life short. And, and, and people can put up, and they can put up your tombstone, they can put up all this stuff like, uh, uh, you know, you're righteous and all these type of things, but God knows your heart. He knows your spirit. And let me tell you something. He wants you to change. You don't have to stay where you are. God doesn't want to just destroy and, and, and kill. Or no, no, he's not like that. But when individuals are constantly rejecting the word, God, was, God starts moving and doing things um, um, to keep his name from being um, shamed. Let me tell you something. If you look on YouTube, you can see a lot of people out there shaming the name of Christ. Not saying that individual is going to be perfect, but when you blatantly continue to sin and go about your own ways, this word is your word of demise. That if you don't turn from your ways, you will see, not in a far off, but you will see swift destruction and swift judgment coming to you and to your, um, your home. And I pray that God spares those around you but, but, you know, that's what the Lord revealed to me, you guys, that, that you know, these individuals, you know, to, to, to pray because it's devastating what's going on. And I'm not saying, and I want to be careful how I say this, I'm not saying for people who have made a mistake, they are preachers or pastors who have made decisions or made a mistake, like David, you know. David, um, he repented from his ways, and what did God do? God restored him. There is, res there is restoration for you. If you want to turn from your ways. But do not think that you can continue in your sin and continue in your ways and everything will be will be right for you. It won't. It won't. And you're watching this video today because God is giving you a warning from heaven and he's crying out to you. Don't let the Lord have to judge you and judge you swiftly and judge you harshly and make you an example of his holiness. You know, we like to skip over that scripture about Ananias and Sapphira who dropped dead before the Lord. We like to skip over the scripture of when the angel of the Lord came down and struck Herod um, right in his um, chair that he was sitting on. We like to skip the scripture in the New Testament where the Apostle Paul uh, spoke to a false prophet by Jesus and he became blind. We like to skip those scriptures of God's hand of judgment in the midst of people who spit on the grace of God. Let me tell you something. God's hand of judgment and his sword has your name on it if you're living in blatant sin. But you don't have to live there. 
You can repent. You can turn from your ways and say, Lord Jesus, wash me. I don't want to live like this. You know, Lord, help me. And God can help you. And tell those around you. Tell people, you, you know, hey, Lord, I'm struggling. I, you know, hey, 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 brother in Christ, you know, um, I'm struggling or sister in Christ. Tell those around you who, who are walking with God for real and their character says so that they're walking with God for real, that you can trust and they'll pray with you and pray you through it. But I saw, but, but what I saw, I know, I know that um, it's, it's already happening, you guys. You can see, you, you know, where, where, where individuals and preachers, I'm not going to say any names and all that, you know, but individuals who have scarred the body, who have scarred the, the name of Jesus Christ, or whatnot, and in blatant sin, you can see their lives just being cut short, or or um or you see destruction, and all these type of things. There's a direct result from this sin. Now, now here what I'm now I'm notice what I said. I'm not saying every single person who you know may have died early. Some people there was a time to go home. It was a time to to go off and meet the Lord. And they were living obedient lives. That's not who I'm talking about. I'm talking about individuals who live in total will for sin. And they don't care and, and, and all these type of things. Alright? So, I hope uh, this was, I hope this convicted. I hope you share this video or whatnot. And that you pray with me for, um, for, um, for all these situations that's going on. Because God doesn't want his name to be uh, made ashamed of. And it won't. All right, he will still be holy um, or whatnot. So God bless you guys. Um, thank you for watching. Remember, you can always share and subscribe, send an email or whatnot. And I uh, hope you have a wonderful day, you guys. God bless. That I can go forward in power. And no demon can hold me back. No one can spirit will hold me back. No fire, no, 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 no trial can hold me back. No, 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 no affliction can hold me back. No sickness can hold me back. Hallelujah. 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 Ah, and as a hallelujah goes forth to God, even your warrior angels are being released on my behalf. There's a shift going on as I lift my hands and as I step my feet, Lord. There's a shift going on. There's a shift going on in the heavens. God, you're changing something. You're doing something. You're rearranging something. Ah, you're rearranging things.